welcome back to another lippy review. So today we're doing one of the CO Bigelow lip balms and this is the Mentha Lip Tint in number 1641 Magenta Mint. So it's a 100% natural mint. Uh, I got this one from Bath and Body Works. The full price version, uh, well I shouldn't say version, it's the same tube either way, but it, full price, it retailed for $7.50 back when I got it. But I got it on a sale price, so I spent way less than that, um, because I'm cheap, so. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so, mint infused, fresh breath, peppermint oil, 2%. Um, I would read off the ingredients, but the sticker is over, like, half of them. I'm bad at numbers, a third of them. Whatever, it doesn't matter. So, <laughs> anyway, uh, these aren't exclusive to Bath and Body Works. You can totally buy these uh, directly from the CO Bigelow site. There's other ones that are exclusive to them that Bath and Body Works does not sell. Uh, I can tell you that. I don't currently have them, but at some point in time, I'd love to add them to my collection. They also have some retired ones that I wish I could have had, but I definitely missed out on because they stopped selling them before I ever bought anything from this line. And them's the breaks. Ooh, it smells really good. So, format-wise, it's a liquid balm, a tinted one. You can see up in the applicator that it does have tint. Um, Packaging-wise, it's just your standard plasticky tube. Uh, it's not like the really cheapy plastic, it's the heavier duty so you don't have to really worry too terribly much about it tearing in your purse or anything. Uh, size wise it's half of an ounce. I was gonna say 0.5 ounces but it, it's half an ounce. Um, it is synthetic. It's part of a line, not part of a set. I don't think this one's limited edition. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I don't think it's limited edition. Uh, no SPF. Special feature is that it's tinted and it's gonna have minty tingles. But let us go ahead and swatch a little on the hand. Oh wow! Okay, so let's do this up close so you can see. It looks almost more like a lip oil. Oh, okay. That's surprising. I thought it was going to be way darker than that, because it looks clear on my hand, unless if maybe I was supposed to shake it first, because I swear it looks like it should have a hella color based on that tube. Maybe that was just some oil that was on top. Um, I'm resisting the urge to make a dirty joke so hard right now about what that almost looks like, but I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to go there, but we're all thinking it looks... Yeah, no, it's still like that. That's so strange, but okay. We'll see if, uh, if it's different on the lips. But it does smell beautifully minty. It's like minty tea. I am so into that. So let's see if it goes on darker here. Whoa, okay, yeah. That's so weird. It's not like crazy dark. It's literally just like a tiny little flush of color. But it looks like it'd be so deep in the tube. I'm intrigued. And I have to wonder if with a if with the minty in it, if it's gonna do like a slight lip plumping effect. It might. It very well might. And you can see it's high gloss, which I love. It's got lots and lots and lots of minty tingles going on already, which I am so here for. Texture-wise, um, it's actually a little thinner than I was expecting. It's a little bit runny. So careful with applying it so it doesn't go sliding off your lips, because this one might. <laughs> um, hmm. I would say it's about a medium thickness, like medium too thick, but it's in that like middle range. Um, you can slightly feel chaps through it, but not a lot. Um, very, very, very slight tackiness, but it's otherwise super slick and smooth. But it otherwise feels amazingly good on. I really like it. 
It's got a nice minty flavor. It's kind of like, do you remember that Banaka breath spray? It kind of tastes like that, like that exact taste. So, uh, yeah, it's interesting. I just realized I forgot to bring anything over for the drink test. So I'm going to get up. I'm going to go wash my hand off, grab my drink, and reconvene. I'll be right back. I swear I'm such little Miss ADD. I went to go get my drink, got distracted on the computer, proceeded to drink all but, um, the last little bit that's in this bottle. But as we can tell, it's very much still on, so it totally passed the drink test with flying colors, like by and large, even more so than what I normally do it. Hell, I'll do some more of it on here. Like, for real, this stuff has really good staying power, so passes that with flying freaking colors. So it totally gets the wow factor. So I'm trying to think, what will I rate this guy? <laughs> um, Price-wise, I wish it weren't so high. It does feel steep to me for what it is. So for me, personally, that's a point. Also, the color in the tube versus the color that comes out are two very different things, for better or worse. So for me personally, also a point because I thought it was going to be a lot more vibrant than it actually is, but that's okay. It's still wearable, but I I'd be lying if I claimed not to be a little disappointed there. So again, that is a point. So other than that, though, um... I think those are really my only issues with it, so for me I'm going to rate this an 8 out of 10. Really, really good. Still recommend it, although if you can get it on a sale, or if you can use a coupon, definitely recommend doing it that way. So, anyways, <laughs> you guys know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload, leave comments down below, make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy, everything and more, it's all down below, and if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link as always is down in the description. Anyway guys, till next time, bye!